I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on solving EQAO test papers. Here is grade 3 2017 assessment paper from EQAO. Let me thank the organization for sharing these questions with us and I hope these solutions will help many students to get better marks. Now in this first few questions are without calculator as you can see here. So you need to do few questions without calculator. The very first one here is based on the patterns. The question is, which numbers are missing from this pattern? 415, 410, 405 and so on. Well, you can see that the pattern is take away 5 each time. So it reduces by 5. So these numbers should be 400 and 395. Correct? So we have these two numbers which matches with our last option here. So that becomes the correct answer for the given pattern. Question number two here is which two numbers make this addition problem correct? We have to add something to get zero once you add three. Well the number should be seven. So when you add seven and three you get ten. So you get one carry forward. Now you need 12. 6 plus 1 is 7 and we know 7 plus 5 is 12 and so that should be the value of the triangle. So therefore the triangle is 5 and this square is 7. That matches with the second option given to us and that becomes our solution. Is that clear to you? That is how we will do these questions which are without calculator. Now here is question number 3. Aaron receives 27 stickers on Monday and 36 stickers on Tuesday. Receive means adding, right? How many more stickers does she need to have a total of 80 stickers? Okay, so let's say how much she has. She has 27 plus 36 and that is 6 plus 7 is 13, 1 there and 1 plus 2, 3 plus 3, 6, 63. We want to have 80 in all, right? So 80 take away 63 is what? So we need to borrow, right? So we can borrow, make it 7. This is 10. And we get 7 over here and 1, 17. So the very first option is the correct option. Is that clear to you? Now all this fill-in should be done with pencil, not with pen. Okay, so 2B pencil will be used to fill-in. Question number four here is, this graph shows uh, the types of books students read. The question for us is, how many students read adventure books? Okay, so let's figure this out. So that is the adventure books. It is between 8 and 10. So it is 9. So the option given to us is right there. So we'll fill 9 to get the right answer. Question number five is Stephanie makes a pattern using circles. She adds the same number of circles each time to make the next shape. So we have here how many circles? Four, right? And here how many? We already have these four and to these four we added four more. So it becomes four plus four which is eight. Now here again you see four more has been added. So each time we are adding four. So it becomes 12. Correct? So next time it should be how much? 12 plus 4 which is 16 and then 16 plus 4 should give us 20. So shape 4 and shape 5 should have 16 and 20 circles. Correct? Now let's look into the question itself. It says Shape 4 and 5 are missing. How many circles will be in shape 5? Well, we have 20. So shape 5 will have 20 circles. So we'll just highlight, fill in 20 for the answer. Clear? So let's move on and take the next question, which is for us question number 6. 
which is best measured in kilometers? Well, kilometers is long distance. Length of a truck? No. Length of the school? No. Length of Lake Ontario? That could be. Length of teacher's desk? So Lake Ontario should be measured in kilometers. Pretty long, right? Now school, they are normally less than, much lesser than a kilometer long, right? Question number seven is, which shapes are congruent? Means exactly same. They can overlap one over the other. So as you can see, these T shapes are congruent. So AD is the right option. So we'll fill in the first option, which is A and D. Question number eight is an open response question. In open response questions, you need to explain your thinking and then answer, right? Amir goes on vacation for 21 days. Sandra goes on vacation for five weeks and four days. For how many more days does Sandra go on vacation than Amir? Show your work. Well, for Amir, it is just 21 days, right? So 21 days. For Sandra, it is five weeks plus four days. Now, there are seven days in a week, right? So seven days in a week. So one way could be we could convert all this into days. So we get five weeks times seven, which is 35 days plus four days, right? Which gives us 39 days. So Sandra goes for 39 days. Amir goes for 21 days. So one method is like this. We can find the difference. We can do 39 minus 21 and that gives us 18 days. So how many more days does Sandra go on vacation than Amir? So it is 39 minus 21 which is 18 days. That is one of the methods, right? We can actually do another method also. So let me show you method two. So in method two, we'll actually convert 21 days into weeks, right? So 21 days is three weeks. Correct? There's seven days, right? So now what we could do here is we could do five weeks. It is five weeks minus three weeks, which means two weeks. Sandra is on holiday for five weeks and four days, right? So now extra is two weeks and four days. Two weeks means how many days? Two times seven, which is 14. Plus four, we get 18 days, right? So we could do two times seven, which is 14 plus four, we get 18 days. So in either way, it is 18 days, which you could always write there at the end. So 18 days more than a mirror. Is that clear to you? So you could use one of these methods. Well, the preferred one is definitely to convert to days, right? Okay. Let's move on and take question number nine. Question number nine is based on probability. Hina and Sarah creates these two games. Number Q game. The number cube has a number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Hina wins if an even number is rolled. So even numbers means 2, 4, and 6. Sarah wins if odd number is rolled. That means 1, 3, and 5. Now, the question for you is, is this game fair? Yes, it is. Justify your answer. How will you justify it? Well, both have three out of six to win. Is that okay? So both have same probability or chances. Three out of six to win. So both have same chances, right? So same chances. Clear? The second game is spinner game. 
the spinner has the letters S, S and H. Okay. He now wins. If the arrow lands on H, Sarah wins if the arrow lands on S. Is this game fair? Not at all. Since there are two third is Sarah. So Sarah wins. There are two S's, right? So two out of three. For Hina, it is only one out of three. So it is unfair, right? So, so Sarah has more chances to win. Twice or double chances to win. Correct? Since there are two portions out of three which are marked as S, so she has higher probability to win. So it is unfair game. It is biased towards Sarah. Question number 10 is open response question. A class raises money over four months to buy musical instruments. The money raised in the first three months is shown in the table. The amount for the January is missing. So we know these three amounts that is missing. The instruments cost $950. How much more money does the class need to raise in January to buy the instrument? So amount raised, let's add these two. So let's add 191, 327 and 210. So we get 1 plus 7 is 8, 9 into 11 and 112. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 728 is raised. So what is the balance? Balance is we have $950 to make, right? So we have 950. We have to take away 728. So, so to borrow, we get 4 here, 10 here. So we get 2. From 4, you get 2. And 9 take away 7 is 2. So how much money does this need in January? We need to raise 222, $222, right? So that becomes our answer. So the class needs to raise $222 in January, correct? So that is how you could answer this question. I hope the explanation is absolutely clear. Let's take the next question, which is question number 11. Now these are open response questions. You need to explain your answers. Six of the angles in the diagram are marked with letters A, C, B, D, E and F. Correct. Now place each number in the correct column of the table according to the description. So the description is bigger than a right angle equal to the right angle and smaller than the right angle. Okay, so let's take one by one and write them down. So right angles are these angles. So this is right angle for us, correct? So C is equal to right angle. We'll put this C right there. Now let's look for angles which are smaller, right? So these are smaller. These are smaller angles, correct? So if we have one right angle, two small angles, this is a big angle and this one is a small angle. So these three are smaller angles than 90 degrees, right? Correct. So we have A, B and E as smaller angles. The other angles, two of them, which are D and E, right? So these angles are bigger angles. So F and D are bigger angles. They are obtuse angles. Clear? So that is how you can answer this particular question. Let's take question number 12. Which group of base 10 blocks represent 225? Well, 200, no, well, the last one here. So we have 200, so this is 100, this is 100, and that is 20, and these are 5. So that becomes the correct option, right? Question number 13. 
which three measurements are listed in order from shortest to longest right shortest to longest so we want this to be big at the end well two meters one meter this is going from longer to shorter 84 centimeters 1 meter and 65 centimeters and 2 meters that is from shortest to longest correct so that is how we are going to do we know that 1 meter equals to 100 centimeters correct so 2 means 2 meters means 200 centimeters right so that is the longest question number 14 Miss Miller's class records the weather for 18 days. So in all 18 days and displays the information on a pictograph. The number in the key is missing. So what is missing here is this number. We know total is 18, right? So when you add, we should get 18 as total. So we have how many full circles? 1, 2, 3, 4 and a half so we are looking for four and a half so that means it is possible only when we have this as four each so we have four eight twelve sixteen and this becomes two right so that makes sense so each represents four units so out of these options we know four is the correct option is that clear to you so that is how you could make the index Let's move on and take question number 15. Now we are back to multiple choice questions. The question here is, Salen is using square tiles of the same size to cover a desk with no gaps or overlaps. How many square tiles he used in total to cover the entire desk? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 6 times 7. So it's rows times column, right? So 42. So 42 is the right answer. So we'll fill up 42 now. Question number 17, or question number 16 now for us. Stephen describes a figure. The shape of the base is always different from the shape of all other faces of this figure which figure could he be describing well in cube all are same in triangular prism opposite sides same all are same all triangles square based prism pyramid oh pyramid that's okay so square based pyramid will have a square base right which is very different from the other faces right so other faces are triangular as you can see so that makes sense question number 17 which pattern has the rule of plus 4 so add by 4 well this is 3 this is 10 and this is correct right that is plus 4 correct so that becomes the right option for us so we have done almost this test paper we are on the last page, last question. Which thermometer shows the temperature on a warm day? Means maximum temperature. Well, this is the one which is showing 100 degrees centigrade, right? Extremely, extremely high temperature. The others are very, very low. So the very first one is the correct option. So that is how you are going to solve it. Now, as you have seen that in this test paper, we had questions based on addition, number sentence, patterns, money, rows and columns, probability, pictograph, perimeter and area, faces, edges and vertices. However, this is not the complete list. And therefore, I will recommend you to look into other videos which I have solved for different years, especially the 2018 in which we have the missing topics. Missing topics for you are these. So you can actually look into this set and practice at home. Prepare well for your exam. I wish you all the best. Thanks for watching and good luck.